kids in the neighborhood who they've grown up with it, their parents have grown up with it. It's been around, I, mean, I don't know the exact date, but it's 50 years. I mean, we're the third owner of it, but it's, it's a torch that we've been carrying now for 15 years. I think the biggest yeah. obstacle to being open year round is that it is a, a walk-up, old-fashioned, window-style business. And I think that's also part of its magic. I think that a lot of the, the neighborhood feels the same. One of the most magical aspects of Summerfell is the number of small businesses. Um, we are not dependent on just you know, large chains. Personally, I love to shop small um, because you are you're impacting a family in a lot of cases instead of just someone's pocket in another state over that has no influence on how their business is run. One of my favorite parts of working here is that you see kids from the time that they're in the strollers to now they're in high school. I mean, there are there were kids. You see them go on their first date. They bring them to Louise. You know, the first day of school, the last day of school. The kids going off to college, and to watch that growth is really fun, especially because we are so neighborhood oriented. Seeing the local neighborhood kids grow. Yeah, have kids. That's the, probably the weirdest thing. It's like this. watching them start <laughs> and have families, and, and it's. It's a privilege, that's for sure. It's not something that we take lightly. We, we take our responsibility um, very seriously. 